I'm often asked, how do you sew piping to a corner? So this little lesson is just that, how to navigate corners with piping. We've got a lot of work to do, so let's get busy. Here we have the materials for our corner. I've cut some wool, so I have a front and a back. I've also prepared piping. And we have some marking tools. So this is what we're going to be using to start. You baste all of this down as you would for the curved piping. But one thing I want to do here is I want to know where to turn that corner. So I'm going to put this dot right there. And then I'm going to stitch in place a couple of times. to hold this like so. From here, cut to that dot and then See how I roll this up? You want to roll that up because if you if you try to make it flat, the cord is going to be too short and it will round the uh, it'll make a round corner. So I'm having this sit up and I'm pushing it back slightly. Because this extra slack right in here, you want that when we turn the corner. Now you notice I based with the double thread, it's just a preference. There's no hard and fast, you have to do one, you have to do the other. So that's just something to know, just a little bit of an aside. Now, so let me baste. So I'm gonna baste down to the main corner. Same thing over here. We want to know where that corner is. And so again, stitch two or three stitches there, and we're going to cut right there. And then again, tip this up. And so you notice, see I'm creating a little bit extra here. That is what you want to do. Because if you go too short, you're going to round that corner. And then you stitch again a couple times in place. And I'm going to go off camera and hand base this and bring you back the results. Okay, so here we are. We have the corners basted. 
Now we go to the machine. Here you can see that I have the needle. I'm going to bring this out just a tiny bit. So the needle is inside, well inside the edge of the foot. So we are going to sew the piping down with the foot in position number one. This is not a final seam. And this is how we're going to do it. We're gonna start at the top. And the stitch length is 3.0. You don't have to have a short stitch on this. So coming down to this corner, I'm gonna stitch off and start over and stitch to make it a little bit more square. As you can see. And then I'm going to turn and come back here and continue. And as we come down here, same thing. You're really gonna have to kind of navigate this, but so there's that. I've stitched there and then I'm going to turn this back this way Show you the results here. So you can see we've sewn to there and I have sewn 90 degree there. It's going to look like that. Now back to the work table. So here we are. We put these two right sides together and then we want to pin. So I'm going to pin these two raw edges first because we're going to stitch this corner in two different passes. So I'm going to pin that there and I'm not going to go crazy pinning here but I am going to pin here because my first my first pass is going to be I'm going to sew from here off to here. So what I want to do here is I want to sew some very short hand basting stitches. Now when you get up here, the object here is you want to push that piping as far in as you can get. That way when you sew these little short stitches, you're not going to risk catching the rat tail. There we are. Okay. So here lots of basting thread but there you have it so I've, I'm going to go to the machine now and sew from here all the way off here so off to the machine so here I am at the machine and you can see that the needle is just right at the edge Let me stop that here the needle is right at the edge of the foot 
So now we're going to go back to a standard 2.5 stitch, and our first pass is going to be So this is position number two, final seam. And so what I like to do about here, about say three quarters of an inch from the corner, is to shorten the stitch length to 0.75 to 1.0. like and see if we open this up from this side we will have pushed this one way so now we're going to go back to the work table to sew the rest so here we are and the next stop here is we want to push this way back. We want to, we want the piping itself to be all the way in. And you can tell that by feel. So I'm going to pin it right here. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera and I'm going to get some more thread basting and thread based to about here. Then I will bring it back to show you the kernel of information here that you need. Now, at this corner here, we're going to baste with some short stitches to make sure everything stays where it needs to stay, which is facing in. And then I will continue on and there's really no way to get away without doing this with basting. Just, I just want to tell you that. Don't try to save time by just trying to wing it with pins because it won't work. Okay, so here we are. And so I have massaged everything back away from these stitches. So now I can sew with some very short hand basting. on the blue stitching line because that will fall into the seam allowance when we're finished. So, so I have hand basted from here to here. So now we're gonna go back to the machine and we're gonna start here and stitch off to there and start there and stitch back this way. So that is how we're going to sew this on the machine with the zipper foot. So back to the machine. So here we are, zipper foot in position number two. Again, stitch length is a 0 0.75 to one because we want these stitches to be quite short. And so, just lower this down a teeny bit. So you're gonna sew ever so slightly to the left of the blue stitching. Position number two, final seam. about three quarters of an inch, then you lengthen your standard 2.5. So sew off here, let me show you. So there, and that sews off here, and we're gonna come back here and sew down the other way to make that corner. See, the green stitching is the stitching we just sewed, position number two. So next, we will go to the pressing table. Actually, I decided to clip the corners. I just think it's fair that you get to see this. 
So here on the main corner, you're just going to cut it like that, about a millimeter between the stitching. And then here on this one, So yeah, so here we are, ready to turn right side out. So I will flip this right side out. So uh, here I have everything turned right side out, ready for pressing. So the initial press is there and here. Now, to get a square corner, as square as you can get, what you're going to do is you're going to take a needle threaded with a double thread of Mara 30, and you're going to catch that, and you're going to pull it as you steam. So, normally I would put a pressing cloth on this, but not for this. This is a sample. And if I want to get this corner, squared, same thing. You just give that a little bit of a tug. So here you have it. It looks pretty darn good. Now one, one more little trick here. Pinch it like that. So that is the way that I get a square corner. And here we have it. Piping on a corner.